At ease, man. I'm off stage drill with Is United in Christ. We came to teach you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you are God's chosen people. Right. That's who you are. You're not niggas. You're not spicks. You're not African Americans. You are God's chosen people. Right. Give me that in Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Yes, sir. Because this is the reason why y'all living the way y'all living. Nobody ever told you you were special. Your father went in your life. Your mother didn't love you. Your, your enemies treat you like nothing, like trash. Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art an holy people. A what? And holy people. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto who? Unto the Lord thy God. We are holy people unto the Lord our God. God not for everybody. God not for the so-called white man, so-called Chinese man, right. so-called Arab man. Right. He for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's, right. That's who God is for. But they tell you John 3.16, like my brother just broke down. He showed you that God is only for us, the Israelites. That's right. The Israelites. Give me Hosea 5. Give me Hosea 5.15. Yes, sir. Because we're about to show you why is this estate the way it is. Why are we the house of Israel if we got chosen people while we destroy it? Why are we in the gable, the the uh the ghettos in this neighborhood market? Right. Why why is this the way it is? What all praises? Why is this the way it is? Read Hosea chapter five. Excuse me, sorry. And he right because the way that the spirit that's out here is terrible. Y'all gotta repent, as my brother was bringing out. We gotta repent and turn back to God's nature, right. how He made us. Read Hosea chapter five verse fifteen. Bring it up. I will go. And return to my place. What did God say he would do? I will go and return to my place. So God is leaving us. God is leaving the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Till they acknowledge their offense. Till what? Till they acknowledge their offense. So there's a timetable. There's a condition. God said he's going to leave us until we do what? Acknowledge their offense. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. The officer's trying to teach the sister, stop being a sodomite, stop being a lesbian. And she hooting and hollering and then trying to get the mass of people to go against us. Right. Sister, repent. Right. That's a life of death. It's not life. Bring it out. You are, right. you are walking dead. Bring That's it you out. Want. You can't procreate. Teach. A woman with a woman. What nonsense is that? Bring it out. But if we say a man with a man, it's ooh, ugh. Disgusting. It's the same thing with a woman. That's right. It's the same thing. Teach. Verse 15, excuse me. Verse 15. I will go and return to my place till I acknowledge their offense Read. and seek my face. And do what? And seek my face. That's what we teach you. That's why we are here. The prophets of God are to teach you how to seek God's face. Because right. you was never taught that. Or maybe you just heard it passing by. Like right now, you have to seek God's face in this Bible. And I'm not talking Cesar Bourget. The white Jesus is a soft-spoken, I so love the world, come unto me. Hell no, we teach you the black Messiah. That's right. We, in the affliction, they, excuse me, to the, verse 15, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Listen up, brother. We, and seek my face. In their affliction. In their what? In their affliction. In these ghettos, in these abortion clinics. And he's drive-bys and his gang banging. That's when you go seek the Lord. When you get a couple shots up in you. That's right. When you for that hot brass, that's when you're seeking the Lord. Right. When right. you look at that pregnancy test and know you was laying down with a no good nigga. Right. That's when you're seeking the Lord. Right. Right. We only seek the Lord in affliction. That's the only time we seek the Lord. Got a lot of these young fast girls out here. And then when they baby mamas, oh, it's no good black men. You spreading your legs every time, Dick and Harry out here. That's right. And now you want a good man. Right. right. Read. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Read Hosea chapter 6, verse 1. Come and let us return unto the Lord. Come, let us return to the Lord. That's what we are here for, brothers. We try to teach you how to return to the Lord. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6 again. Because yes, this is what happens when you turn unto the Lord. There's an outcome. There's a meaning, sister. There's a meaning. There's an outcome when you turn away from that lesbianism. Right. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 For thou art holy people Sisters, you're holy You're a holy people Read Unto the Lord thy God The Lord thy God hath chosen thee To be a special people To be a special people Read 
unto himself. Unto who? Unto himself. So God chose you to be special unto himself. Right. That's what God did. And if you're not going to be special unto him, there's only death. Right. There's only death. Right. That's the judgment. Let's touch on Deuteronomy 28, 15 real yes, quick. Because this is a curse to go after lesbianism, for a woman to seek a woman. Right? I don't know what man hurt you in your life. I don't know, but you got to get over it. Right. It this comes a point in time in life, you got to let it go. Right. Right. You got to let it go. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 15. Yes, sir. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So we didn't listen unto the Lord our God. We didn't seek him. Read. To observe. To do all his commandments. To do all his commandments. Give me Hebrews 13. Give me Hebrews 13. Right. Because that's a commandment of God. We didn't seek to do the commandments, and now we have this. This is the outcome. I mean, read. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable and all. It said marriage is honorable and all. What kind of marriage? We talking woman with woman? No. We talking man with man? No. Hell no. Right. There was a man and a woman. There was Adam and Eve. That's right. God instituted marriage with a man and a woman. Right. Not Obama, same-sex marriage. Right. Who the hell is he right. compared to the Lord our God? Right. Read. Read. Marriage is honorable and all. Marriage is honorable and all. Man with a woman. Read. And the bed undefiled. Then your bed will be undefiled. But if it's woman with woman, your bed is defiled. If it's right. man with a man, your bed is defiled. Right. Read. And what God gonna do? Read. But all among us and adulterers, you're an adulterer because you're breaking the law of marriage. Right. Anything outside the law of marriage is adultery. That's right. right. So woman with woman, you're breaking the law of marriage. Right. Man with man, you're breaking the law of marriage. Right. You gotta understand that. He said, whoremongers and adulterers, he'll do what? God will judge. There's only judgment. There's only judgment. And we're saying this out of love. Right. we saying this out of love, sister. Listen up. You're talking too much. we saying this out of love. We're trying to show you how to change. Right. We're trying to keep you from God's judgment. Right. Because he said what? God will judge. God will judge you. And you don't want that. You don't want that smoke. You don't want that. God's going to judge his people. The day of the Lord is coming upon us. Right? Give me uh, Zephaniah 1 and 8. Yes, sir. The day of the Lord is coming upon us. Because the way we dress, the way we act, the sister wearing manly clothes, so she feel like she can buck up to a man. What? She feel like she equal to a man. What? We're not equals. Read. Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 8. Read. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. Listen up, sister. We saying this out of love. Listen up. Shh. Shh. We saying this out of love, sister. Be quiet and listen. We saying this out of love. Because clearly your family don't love you if they allow you to live this way. Read. That I will punish the princes. God will do what? And I will punish the princes. Yeah, go again. God will judge. I will punish. There's judgment for this lifestyle. We trying to save you from God's judgment. Read. And the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. So that's with clothing, sister. Take off the manly attire. It's putting the spirit on you, sister. Hey, we out here. The men of the Lord, we out here. That's right. Who are we? The Israelites. Who are we? The Israelites. We the Israelites. We the sons of God. And we gonna teach and reprove our people. That's right. Out of love. Out of love. Out of love. We out here for you. That's what they don't get. We out here for you. Your parents, your siblings, your family don't love you if they allow you to stay like this. That's right. Because God said he will judge you. But this is love. Give me that. This is love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because we're going to show you that said the Bible. These commandments, line upon line, precept upon precept, is God's love. Your mother, your father, your sisters, your aunties, your uncles, they didn't teach you that, hey, baby girl, don't do that. Yeah, I know you got. I, I know your uncle did this. I know your daddy did this. Right. I know them no good man did this. Right. That's not the way. Right. They didn't tell you that. But we the man of the Lord, we gonna tell you that. Sister. That's right. Read. First John chapter five verse three. Man out. For this is the love of God. For this is the love of God, sister. Read. 
that we keep his commandments. That we do what? We keep his commandments. That we keep God's commandments. Read. And his commandments are not grievous. Are not what? Are not grievous. It's a grievous thing for the sister. It's a grievous thing for my brothers and sisters out here. It's a grievous thing to teach God's laws to live it for y'all. It's grievous. We trying to tell you to repent. Then teach your family to repent. But it's grievous. That's a grievous thing to the sister. But guess what? This is the only way we can return to the Lord. That's right. God said till we acknowledge him, till we acknowledge our ways, then he'll come. Right. Give me 1 Kings 8, 46. Yes, sir. Because there's a repentance, sister, for you. There's a repentance, brother, for you. Listen up. I'm talking to you, brother. I'm talking to you. There's a repentance for you. Listen up. We the Israelites, we got to repent. If you don't, God will kill you. It's as simple as that. Read. Yes, sir. Give me 1 Kings 8, 46. The book of 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee, sister, you in sin. My brothers, you in sin. We are sinning against God. Read. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them. Is God angry with the so-called black man? Yes. Is he angry? Right. Look around you. This is God's anger. Hundreds of years of slavery. You being raped, forced into labor, forced into fields like animals, chattel slavery. That's God's anger to let another person rule over you rigorously with rods of iron, shackles and chains on your feet and hands, on your head. That's anger. That's godly anger. Read. And deliver them to the enemy. Deliver them to who? To the enemy. Uh-oh. Y'all ain't know y'all got enemies. The so-called white man is your enemy. Right. So-called Chinese man is your enemy. Right. So-called Arab man is your enemy. Right. The so-called black man is your enemy, and we not teach you these commandments. That's, That's right. right. That's what we came to teach you. But you huddled up with them. You smoking with them. You consorting with them. They're your enemies. They don't want your good. They want you to stay in this low estate. The ghettos of Portsmouth. Read. So that they carry them away captives. We was carried away captives on them slave ships. That's saith the Lord. Read. Unto the land of the enemy. Uh-oh, here we go again, and to the land of the enemy. Are we not in America? Are we not in America where they stole this land from our brothers, our sisters? Where they raped, robbed, and murdered them, and then put them on reservations? Yes. And in that same land, they made you work as chattel slaves. That's what they made you do. Listen up, so-called black man. Listen up, because we are here for you. Read. Verse 47. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves, yet, there's hope. If you shall bethink yourself, so-called black man, so-called black woman, if you bethink yourself, read. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they were carried captives, here in America or in Puerto Rico, anywhere where the 12 tribes of Israel was made slaves, if we bethink ourselves, if we remember, read. And repent. And do what? And repent. You can't repent unless we teach you the laws. Right. You can't repent unless the men of the Lord come and teach you the laws. But you hate us for it. We no good. We evil. We trash. We niggas. We your brothers. We show you more love than the rest of your family has ever shown you. That's right. right. Read. And make supplication unto thee and the land of them that carried them captives. Say, we have sinned. You got to admit that sin, my brothers. You got to admit that sin, my sister. Saying we have sin, whether that's adultery, whether that's murder, whether that's fornication, whether that's lesbianism, whether that's drug dealing, whether that's gang banging. You got to go before the Lord and say, Lord, forgive me. I've done much evil in my fathers before me. Not me only, but my fathers before me. Read. We have sinned and have done perversely. We have done perversely. That's a perverse thing, a man with a man. A woman with a woman. That's a perverse thing to right. the Lord. Read. We have committed wickedness. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul. And that's how you get right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain.
IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.